travel to Southern Pines first for that National Memory Championship. That is two weeks from today on April 28th. We want to wish her all the luck in the world. That's so cool. Yeah, I have like the worst memory <laughs> ever, so I would lose so fast. First round, I'd be out. Yeah, the closest we ever came to that was for a Pi Day competition in school. We would memorize all the as many digits as you could. How many do you know? Oh, I failed at it. This is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm impressed by her. I, I was awful at it. I know 3.14159. 265395. I know like a few more. Oh, wow. But the, those are the only ones that stuck with me, guys. By next Pi Day 2023, <laughs> we're we'll, going to have we'll a have competition a on air. <laughs> Mark your calendars right here. <laughs> Here's a look outside right now. We've got some scattered showers throughout the Piedmont, but they're just very light scattered showers at this point. As we're looking outside, the temperature is 76 degrees in High Point, 70 in Greensboro, 72 in Winston Salem. So you can see that the cold front hasn't quite made it to the triad yet. When it does, it'll bring more rain and it'll bring some storms as well. Some of those storms could be on the severe side. We're talking primarily about damaging wind being our biggest threat. Tomorrow is actually a really nice day. And then into the weekend, we've got some scattered showers here and there for your Easter weekend. So here's a look at the past hour or so, the past two hours, where we've been watching more and more rain move into the mountains and now starting to pop up in the triad as well. We've gotten some updates to the severe storm threat for today. It looks like they pulled this a little further to the east. So while we still have the triad and this marginal threat for severe weather, most of the foothills and the mountains are now just expecting thunderstorms. Standard run of the mill storms, though, can still bring, of course, life threatening thunder and lightning, but also heavy rain, strong winds, and even small hail. It's those severe thunderstorms, of course, that bring the big damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour and the larger hail. For this point, though, damaging winds still a threat throughout that area, but our hail threat has also dropped. So now for the most part, we're expecting just small hail throughout our entire forecast area, except for this tiny little sliver there, of Caswell County in our forecast area that is expecting the possibility of some larger hail. Those are our threats, though. I know this storm caused a lot of issues in other parts of the country, so you might have been pretty frightened when you saw it coming our way. But the good news is that the storm has died down so significantly that we're not expected to have tornadoes this afternoon. So we'll keep an eye on it, of course. Here's a look as we head into the afternoon. There's that cold front that caused all of those problems. As it moved towards us, it brings those scattered showers and some thunderstorms as well throughout the afternoon and into the evening. And then we dry out into the overnights, clear skies tomorrow morning, a couple of showers here and there on Saturday and on Sunday as well for your Easter Sunday. So you want to take that into account when you're planning. Here's your 19 hour forecast as we head into the afternoon those highest chances for storms. The foothills also have that high chance for storms as we head towards 4 p.m. And then in the mountains, looking at some high chances for storms now dying down over the next couple of hours. Here's your seven day forecast with those scattered showers here and there into the weekend and into next week. Well, before we go, one last look at North Carolina A&T State University again, where Pri President Biden is expected to speak there very soon in the coming hours this afternoon. The White House says the president is expected to talk about current supply chain issues and inflation, as well as some common goals with A&T, increasing manufacturing capacity, supporting STEM education. And we are following every step 